Let's explore modern folk art with Mika Inc. That's me. And we're going to create a wearable art bag with an Alice in Wonderland theme. So this is a wearable art piece that I'm going to be working on. And so I just finished applying uh, gesso to the bag. You can kind of see some of the streaks there. Uh, so I can get it primed for painting. Uh, the only decision I have to make is to figure out what color I want the bag. Um, I absolutely hate this tan color. However, <laughs> I'm thinking that if I add some textures, do some appliques, um, you know, do some graffiti, that the tan may not look so bad. So uh, we'll see where I end up landing with this one. Um, so we'll see. So I just wanted to take a moment and show this uh, card that I got for my mom and dad. Um, I always love to take found objects, whether that's a purse that I'm going to redo or a um, card like this one and try to make another form of artwork. And so I'm gonna incorporate this card somehow into this bag. The central character of this wearable art piece is a white rabbit. I just finished painting him. I just wanted to show you a quick close up of him before I show you how I incorporate it that card into this bag. So as you can see, we made some significant progress with the Alice in Wonderland theme bag that I'm working on. Uh, as you can see in this right corner, there's the applique that I had pointed out before. And as we finish this piece off, there's a little Cheshire cat around the corner. Still working on it, stay tuned. So I'm working on getting rid of a lot of that kind of beige color that I wasn't fond of. And I think this is really going to make uh, the bag stand out and pop. I mean, as if a bunny rabbit on your bag doesn't help, but uh, I think this is gonna turn out nicely. Stay tuned. And what's a Alice in Wonderland theme bag without having the Cheshire Cat here? As you can see, I've put on some trees and some foliage because hey, we're in the garden. And of course, our key signature piece is going to be our rabbit here. And this is where we're at right now. So I hope you're following along with me. We're almost done, almost there. I just finished painting the back of the bag. As you can see, the paint is still wet. But I just wanted to give you a close up to show that I did carry that black pattern and design uh, to the back of the bag. I also put a couple graffiti streaks uh, in the back just to liven it up, give it a little bit more of a modern feel, and I did sign it as well. All right, everybody, here is the final product. The bag is ready to go. I hope you enjoyed these short videos to kind of get a sense of what my process is and to creating this beautiful and very busy Alice in Wonderland theme bag.